Good morning, welcome back. I hope that you guys enjoyed the camping adventure that I took you on last week. Of course, it just started raining. We are going into winter, which means we're going into the rainy season here in Maui. But I wanted to bring you guys along this morning because, well, first of all, it's really early. It's about 6.30, actually it's about seven now. Um, and they've been working on our septic system. So right now I'm standing on top of our leach field and they, Ooh. let me grab some shelter real quick. I'm Cole and for the past six years, I've lived and worked on a tropical farm in the jungles of East Mountain, doing everything from cultivating lush gardens, maintaining farm infrastructure, and enjoying the unbeatable island life. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join my growing YouTube Oha. Right behind me here is where they have dug out the leach field. It's about 10 feet deep and they ran pipe all along through it and filled it with a bunch of um, small like aggregate rock. And then up kind of where the um, tractor is right behind me, that is where they are gonna be putting the new septic tank. It's a concrete septic tank. Um, and the reason that I started the blog so early this morning is because they're supposed to be coming with a septic tank on like a big flatbed. So we just had to move all of our vehicles and I figured, hey, what the heck, I would bring you guys along. But anyways, just so you guys kind of understand the lay of the land, um, right now, the parking lot is right up here. And then the area that we cleared is actually like way up behind the clubhouse up over there. So this whole septic system is all dug out and then the tank is going to go right up here so here is where the new septic tank is going to go and the leach field is way over here it's all of these pipes and stuff that they laid out and then our new bathroom and our new shower area is going to be up over behind where this tractor is hey so the septic guy is taking a little bit longer than usual but we're in the harvest station so just here with me say hi <laughs> so um, every morning we do a solid harvest for our food truck down by the road and this is kind of like our setup. We have cilantro going right now here. So just picking through our salad greens and some kale and some baby lettuce in there, some mescaline mix. Zoja, what are we doing? I am washing lettuce that we harvested. So why do we, why do we soak it in water? To, um, like, to clean it and to remove the slugs and the aphids and the bugs, we soak it in like a saline solution. Cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And then we put them in these bins. And then yesterday we harvested like eight buckets of um, starfruit. Our starfruit tree is going off right now. So other coal is back here, juicy that all right now. So yeah, we put, um, Hawaiian salt inside of our water to help with the buoyancy so it actually brings all of the bugs and slugs up to the top. We're really lucky that we don't have a ton of slugs on our property but we do find them every now and then and we have to be really careful with making sure that none of the slugs actually make it into our salads because they carry a disease called rat lungworm disease and uh, pretty gnarly. We actually know a couple people that have gotten it and it basically is a parasite that makes its way up your spinal column and into your brain and then it dies and it can cause like paralysis or like nerve damage so we literally look at every single leaf for our salads and flip them over to make sure that there are no slugs. So that's what Zoja's doing. Anyways we're gonna keep going on harvest until the septic tank comes up and uh, it's supposed to be like a really big truck. They had us move our cars and everything, so I don't know how big it's gonna be, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'll bring you guys along. While we're waiting and while Zoja is doing salads, I am gonna go harvest some basil. It's pizza night tonight, so we need to make sure that they have enough basil for their toppings. And luckily, our basil beds are doing super, super well. Nothing is 
So when you're going through and you're harvesting basil, you want to make sure that you leave enough for the new sprouts to shoot off the side. So if I'm harvesting, say this one right here, I want to go down and I want to leave these two so that they can pop back up. And this will all go to a restaurant. And then I want to make sure that I leave just enough for it to branch off so it'll split. I'm also getting rid of any of the flowers. So the flowering actually indicates that the plant's gonna die. So you wanna make sure that you go through and you prune those guys off. But I'm gonna use those as uh, part of our um, basil harvest as well. Another cool thing about basil is you can actually grow it at home really easy. So if you buy basil from the store, all you need to do is get one of the cuttings that you usually get. So this is usually what you get at the grocery store. And you just stick it in some water and it'll actually produce roots and you just stick it in a pot and it'll keep growing. So you'll be able to like grow your own basil really, really easy. Literally every single basil plant that is on our farm is a cutting from another plant. So we bought some plants a few years ago and then when the bed is finished, we just go through and we take a bunch of cuttings like this and we just stick them right back in the ground and they regrow. It's really easy for us to do it here because it's so moist. So it already has the moisture in the ground um, and they just regrow. Actually, there's a bed right here I can show you guys. So this is kind of like the different stages. So this one, we took cuttings of probably about a month ago and we started this row. This one was a couple weeks after and then Nico went through and did this one last week. So this will probably be harvestable in about a month. And this is all um, Italian basil and we also have um, a small leaf pesto basil that we use as garnishes and that is this guy right here. Anyways, I didn't think this would turn out to be a basil video, but it did really quick. <laughs> All right, so I interrupt this basil harvest to show you the septic tank that just showed up on a big dump truck. It's on a really big flatbed, so we'll see how easily he can get it up this hill. Doing the septic. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually not gonna film this. Um, I just talked with the construction people that are installing and they don't want me to film it because it's raining and they think it's gonna be a little bit of a fiasco. So I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to watch. All right, so they got the septic tank offloaded off of the truck and they just went down. The guy that drove it over from the other side of the island is catching a hopper flight back over there the truck and stuff are gonna stay on this side but they're not here right now so I figured I'd show you just how big this sucker is it's pretty big I think they said it it weighs like five tons and then these are the little um, like lids and containers that go right here unfortunately they broke one but at least it was just that and not the actual tank itself. But anyways, um, I'm gonna get going on the rest of my day. I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel. If you have a comment, write it down below. And I will see you soon. So 
Next project is gonna be to build bathrooms right up behind me so we don't have to wait in line with the tourists to use the bathrooms down below. So that's gonna be a huge change. Anyways, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next Sunday. Ahoy ho. Cuties. <laughs>